So now all of a sudden, now there's a red light. The bagel shop is this way, all right, through the fucking, you know, the fucking, um, the opening, you know, the, the fucking entrance to the fucking place, you know? And fucking, uh, you know, we're coming up on it, but we're not there yet. And that's, I mean, literally, that's literally, literally, when the motherfucking car lost all its brakes. Lost all its fucking brakes. I mean, we're talking like seconds before impact when I realized this car has absolutely no brakes whatsoever. And we're going the speed limit, yet fucking, at the same fucking time, like, this is bad. There is traffic ahead of me. There is oncoming traffic to the left of me. And there is a woman and a baby carriage walking straight towards the entrance of where this fucking place, the bagel shop is, right? (laughs) Oh, um, the other thing, by the way is that there is a fucking flame the size of a t- the, the 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 actual length of the rim stretching all the way back no shit it was stretching all the way back to the fucking gas tank me and my friend I thought, because they're like, oh, you're on fire, you're on fire. Yeah, we were on fire. Literally, there was a flame, a flame, 15, 16 inches wide, going the length of the car, right to the back of the fucking gas tank. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's interesting that the brake pedal fell off earlier, needed to be fucking put back on the right way. But I find it real funny that, you know, there's a flame coming off the fucking tire, front tire, heading all the way back to the gas tank. We're about to have a head-on collision. There is a woman and child, new, you know, it was a bassinet, you know, thing, you know, like a stroller, you know, walking up the fucking road, right next to where this would have happened, my guess is that fucking, if I would have hit that car head on, now, now, I mean, within seconds, I did the right, I did what I needed to do, and within seconds, I realized there's not enough time to fucking pull the fucking brake, e-brake, and possibly stop, there's not enough time to fucking do anything else, Okay, pretty much other than get into an impact, okay, because if I hit the fucking car and the car in head, if I hit the car head on from behind, like from there behind, there's a chance that this car is going to bump, bump to the left or bump to the right. There's a chance that this woman and the baby is going to get hit one way or another, possibly either by fucking bumping to the right or bumping to the left, getting hit by a car head on spinning the car into the woman and the fucking child, okay, no shit, or there's a flame coming off my fucking tire, heading back to the gas tank, if I hit this car head on, there's a chance that that fucking gas thing is gonna pop, and the car's gonna explode, and the woman and the child dies anyway, right, not to mention we burn to death, yeah, this, this is really getting interesting, you know what I'm saying, so, with as much calculations went through my fucking head as fast as possible, there was one other option that was to get ahead of the woman and child, okay, I missed the car and get into that fucking entrance, okay, which I had to like pop literally like my one tire fucking hit the curb that was like fucking one or two, three inches, okay, you know, I popped the fucking curb, um, yeah, no shit, no shit, no fucking shit, I had to step on the gas, I had to go, I had to accelerate the car with no brakes, to squeeze through, to miss the car ahead of me, 
miss the fucking woman and child. I miss the woman and child, I would say, by anywhere between three to four, maybe five feet max. Max. I miss the car to the left of me by an inch. Maybe two inches. Okay? I got into that fucking parking lot. And the only thing I could do from there was say, you need to hold on. And fucking, as I jammed on the fucking brake on the floor, jammed on the fucking floor brake pedal, I fucking pulled up on the fucking e-brake with both arms, like fucking both arms. I'm steering, I don't even remember if it was my elbow or my other knee. At that, if my knee that wasn't on the fucking brake pedal or my fucking elbow, I was steering with something. Why I'm heading towards a fucking metal canister that obviously, you know, when the car hits the fucking metal canister, there's nobody walking past the canister. There's fucking, it's going to fucking impact. It's going to move the canister. We're going to fucking be okay. Hopefully, right? But thank God I was able to stop that fucking, I threw the car into neutral, by the way. Threw the car into neutral before all this. Yeah, that was fun. That was real fun. You know? I get on the phone with the dealership that we just left literally fucking 15 minutes ago. And tell them I need to bring this fucking car back now. You know, they told me, fucking, you got to deal with it, you know. Uh, the mechanic already left for the day. I said, we almost just ran over a woman and a child in a fucking baby carriage because your car that you sold me has no brakes. They were like, well, you got to deal with it. Fucking mechanic left. We can't get him back. You know what's really funny? Is that dealership was about 250 feet on the other side of the road from what happens next. Shortly after that, I would say a couple months went by, blah, blah, blah. I gave, I, you know what, it, there was more shit that happened. I gave the car back a month later, right? Lost a lot of money, but it doesn't matter. What, what's really interesting is um, this is where, you know, like I'm just leaving out like what's important, what's not important. You know what I'm saying? I lost a lot of money on that car. But, you know, and I, not to mention because I almost died and fucking then I, ha I couldn't. They told me I couldn't bring the car back for three fucking days. Four days? Four days. Yeah, couldn't even bring the car back for four fucking days. Yeah. So then... What was really fucking interesting is that my friend starts to get letters from a dealership that's 250 feet away from the other dealership saying that I'm trying to buy more cars, but I wasn't trying to buy more cars. But what I was thinking in my fucking head is now, are you fucking trying to fucking, is somebody in your dumb fucking house that fucking like, for some reason, I, these people weren't around until all the bullshit started and then fucking, then all of a sudden fucking this and that, fuck that, okay? And you know something, what's really interesting is the one person that moved in, and this is where all that shit that I was just saying, so the one person that moves in around the same fucking time period Next video.